The Browns finally wrap up their preseason Mary Kay Cabot against the Chicago Bears Thursday night at First Energy Stadium against old friend Brian Hoyer, of course. And the Browns, they're going to play their starters. They are going to play their starters at least for a little while, probably a couple of series, and then they'll probably get them out of there. But Hugh Jackson feels it's imperative to get them in, get them a little bit of timing. RG3 still needs to work on some things. Cam Irving does. The whole defense really <laughs> does. Uh, so, you know, he wants to get them out there, get their feet wet. And of course, look, worst case scenario, somebody gets hurt. Hopefully that won't happen so that come week one in Philadelphia, the full unit will be out there offensively. Now, uh, a couple battles that, of course, will we'll kind of finalize. Wide receiver is one that I'm kind of watching. Is there another position that you have in mind? Well, you know what? Let's talk about wide receiver for a second yeah. because this is a big game for some of those young wide receivers to prove that they deserve a roster spot. Ricardo Lewis has spent most of the preseason on the sidelines, so he needs to get out there and try to show something coming off of a hamstring. String. And, uh, you know, some of the other guys, too, Jordan Payton, Richard Higgins. I mean, can you put all these young guys on the roster? It'll be interesting to see come Saturday. Of course, we'll also see who starts at outside linebacker. Now that that has been shaken up, what happens at inside linebacker? Now that Barkevius Mingo is gone and that position has been shaken up a little bit. And, of course, the ongoing saga of Justin Gilbert. He will not play on Thursday night and his future pretty murky at this point. Yeah, and, you know, you mentioned that defensive front. I think it's going to be key to see who is out there on that defensive front. Who's starting? Who's getting the playing time? Watch Danny Shelton. I noticed some things last game about him, and you have to wonder, you know, is he going to start? Is he going to get the playing time that, that you think last year's number one pick should get? So lots to watch in the game. And, of course, as always, we'll have full coverage of the game and more at cleveland.com slash browns.